Lucasfilm has spent years and years and years pandering to a group of people that will never be happy no matter what you do. No matter how much you pander, no matter how much you bend the knee, they will always be offended over something else, especially if you don't agree with them 100% of the time. They will invent things that do not exist just so they can cry and play a fake victim. We are seeing a lot of that recently. Lucasfilm gets what they deserve, even though the people at Lucasfilm film don't necessarily deserve it from a brand standpoint from a leadership standpoint this is what Kathleen Kennedy has brought to Lucasfilm and Disney and all of the forces female bullshit and all of the identity politics this is where it gets you where they are actively trying to get people fired and canceled almost daily it seems like now we've got Gina Carano has been dealing with months of hell from these people the same people that tell you how much they respect women are now actively trying to get Gina Carano fired because Gina Carano doesn't repeat their NPC talking points. Now they're going after James Arnold Taylor and I'm still trying to figure out everything going on here but essentially it looks like because he joined Parlor. That was enough for them to be offended, so they have now bullied him into deleting his parlor account with the help of Mark Hamill, who suffers a severe case of TDS, by the way. Mark Hamill gets in there in the replies and forces him to delete parlor because this is social justice. I respect Mark Hamill for being Luke Skywalker. I respect him for being the Joker, but that's where my respect ends with him. As a person... He is not someone you can respect because he lies and he suffers from TDS and he bullies people into deleting things, deleting apps that he doesn't personally see is acceptable. Mark Hamill is a clear SJW and it is disgusting, but that is where we are uh, in today's Lucas film. So let's listen to this video from James Arnold, uh, Arnold Taylor, and then we're going to talk a little more about what's going on. Hey everybody, James Arnold Taylor here, and uh, you know some disturbing things I'm seeing online about me that uh, aren't true, and I want to get to the bottom of it. I know a lot of people say, oh, James, just ignore it. Don't don't worry about it. These people are saying things and that's what people do. Yeah, that would be one thing if I had said the things and I just didn't want to deal with it. But whatever is being said about me right now is inaccurate and uh, whatever posts they're putting up are inaccurate. Uh, they're not mine. So uh, I'm going to try to get to the bottom of it, but I don't know how you get to the bottom of anything in social media these days when people can pose as you or people can say what they want about you. And it doesn't really matter, and people decide in the court of public opinion whether you're guilty or not, whether you are or not. But I can tell you I'm not a COVID conspiracy person. I'm not a right-wing conspiracy person. I'm an entertainer. I do voices in cartoons and video games and movies, and that's it. I'm an entertainer. I'm not a political person. So sorry to burst everybody's bubble, but whatever is being said about me is not true. And I hope you all maybe help me spread the word about that and get to the bottom of it. And whoever is spreading these things about me, I wish you'd contact me because I'd be happy to talk about it with you. If you don't like me, that's fine. If you don't like my acting or you don't like what I... James, they're not interested in a conversation. They do not care about a conversation. No amount of conversation will help these people. What you have to do is say, I am sorry. I agree with everything you say, and I'm going to donate money to you and any cause that you think I should donate to, and then I will continue to apologize for being a white male. That's the only conversation that's acceptable to this group of people, James. You are walking down the wrong path. You are bending the knee. You are deleting your app parlor. You are apolo or you're trying to say that you want to have a conversation with these people and you don't understand none of this. None of this is going to help. I did in Final Fantasy or in Star Wars or whatever. You're that's the cool part is you're welcome to that opinion. But please don't try to slander me or make up stories about me, okay? Or anybody else. Let's all just let's all just relax. This world's got enough junk going on in it. All of us entertainers should be just trying to entertain you all, and all of you should be uh, just trying to get by, because we're all just trying to get by. So I, I, um, I'm greatly disturbed by what's being said, and it's inaccurate. So if you can help me spread that word, that'd be great. And if you're one of those people that don't like me, that's fine, but please don't spread false stuff about me, all right? 
Okay, so then Mark Hamill, uh, anyone who knows you knows uh, that these accusations are untrue. Beware of par- Beware of Parler, a self-described pro-free speech website that promises not to fact-check content as Facebook and Twitter increasingly remove their flag, viral fake news, and misinformation. Fact-checking is important. Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill is trying- <laughs> Mark Hamill is trying to tell us that Facebook and Twitter are trustworthy with their fact-checking. That is called TDS right there, ladies and gentlemen. And Mark Hamill suffers a severe case of it. A severe case. I know you love him because he's Luke Skywalker, okay? I know you love him because he's the Joker. But... It's time to understand that Mark Hamill is gone. He's lost in his Hollywood bubble. He hates you if you disagree with his politics. Mark Hamill, and I have said many times, and we'll go back to this, Mark Hamill hates your guts if you are a Trump supporter. I am a Trump supporter. I am a proud Trump supporter, Mark Hamill. How do you feel about me, Mark Hamill? Do you view me as a human being, Mark Hamill? Because we know that you don't. You view me as beneath humanity. You view me as someone that should never have a platform and never have a right to speak simply because I disagree with your political opinion. That is the type of person that Mark Hamill is. You can love him for being Luke Skywalker. You can love him for being the Joker, but he hates your guts if you disagree with him. If you disagree with him at all on any level on politics, he despises your existence and he does not think you deserve the ability to speak. That is who Mark Hamill really is. Um, now, this is there's a lot to this, um, you know, but let's look at this. Okay, so here's the article. I'm not going to click on the article, but there's just the link right here. Uh, and these are the images that, these are the only two images that are being shared. So now I, can I say if this is James Arnold Taylor's parlor account? No, I can't. Um, but the echoed on par on parlor is like a retweet. So this is someone echoing this situation that, uh, Twitter shut down that this Chinese professor and then, uh, another one echoed by James Arnold Taylor two months ago. If you don't, this is about the NFL ratings and the NFL ratings crashing and, you know, the national anthem, the kneeling and all of that. That's it. That's the only two images. That's it. That that's, that's literally it. I mean, it's unbelievable. I, I, it's, this is all they're mad about is two posts. Now he's claiming that they're not him, apparently, from my understanding. Um, he says, uh, feel free to contact me to discuss where you got this misinformation. I'm deeply saddened to see this slander of me. I'm not a political person and don't appreciate this at all. Um, and again, I don't know if the account is his. Uh, it, it's, it's, he's clearly, let's see, but they're not your post on your account. And it says, please feel free to direct me to them so I can find them because they're not on my account when I look. One of the links on your official website to your social media links to your parlor account. Uh, uh, let me see. So, and apparently he's deleted this parlor account. So it's privated now privated now so it's very very strange by the way i am proudly on parlor you can go follow me at d-day cobra also geeks and gamers is on parlor you can go follow me at, over there as well at geeks and gamers um i'm loving parlor but this whole thing is very strange and um i don't know why this is uh i don't know why he's just not saying if it's him or not but he has claimed he has deleted it which is a, a huge problem it's a huge problem that that he has decided he deleted it because right here under mark hamill uh when mark hamill tweeted james arnold taylor says i've deleted the account as i don't want any more assumptions i opened the uh, the account back in June or July of this year when I heard about it as another form of social media. Frankly, I've done with all social media at this point. I can only say whatever rep uh, repost weren't me. Um, so he's saying they weren't him. Um, 
And again, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they were him. It doesn't matter one bit. Whatever his opinion, we have got to stop letting these fucking weirdos weaponize political opinions or any opinions. Stop letting them do it. When you bend the knee, when you run from them, when you sit there and delete the app in question all because the mob comes after you, they win. Don't let them intimidate you. They will not intimidate me. They're not going to stop me. I am tired of people trying to take a political opinion and weaponize it. Stop letting them weaponize your opinion, whatever that opinion is. All of these weirdos will sit there and tell you that Geeks and Gamers is a right... Geeks and Gamers is a right-wing SJ... or uh, uh, anti-SJW pro-Trump echo chamber. Uche, literally on social media yesterday, who's part of the Geeks and Gamers team, making opi giving opinions that people are coming to me going, Jeremy, why is Uche saying this? Because that's Uche's opinion. I have nothing to do with that. We don't agree. People on me, me and my team don't always agree. There are people on my team that voted for Biden, that have my full support. They don't have to answer to me on what their political opinion is. And that's the way it should be. I am tired of weaponizing political opinions. I am so tired of people trying to think that they can get someone canceled over a political opinion. And Mark Hamill is just as guilty as the mob. He is part of the mob. This bullshit about why you can't have parlor because Mark Hamill doesn't think you can, but Mark Hamill says Twitter and Facebook, they do the right fact checking. They are good. They do the right thing because Mark Hamill approved it. Therefore, he is going to sit there and try to make James Arnold Taylor feel bad about having a parlor because Mark Hamill is the arbiter of truth, uh, apparently, which is bullshit. Mark Hamill is a coward. Mark Hamill is a hypocrite. Mark Hamill is a social justice weirdo. Mark Hamill suffers from TDS. And Mark Hamill would never have a grown-up conversation with someone like me because I'm a big bad Trump supporter and Mark Hamill doesn't think that I belong on his level. I am beneath humanity. And you, all 73 million deplorables out there, are like me. They don't view you as a human. They view you as beneath them, as a toxic man baby. That's the Lucasfilm narrative, and they are eating their people alive now. The same group that Lucasfilm pandered to is now eating these people alive, all because this is what Lucasfilm wanted. They're never going to be happy, never satisfied, and Mark Hamill is complicit in the whole thing. That's Lucasfilm for you. If you bend your knee to the mob... You're done. James Arnold Taylor, you are done. They will never, ever, ever let go now. They are, you are beholden to them. Every opinion you have from this point forward has to be approved by them. And if you step outside of the box just a little bit, they are going to crush you. You have shown weakness, you have bent the knee, and you are done. You simply have to tell them to go fuck themselves. You cannot let them intimidate you. Do what Gina Carano is doing right now. Stand your ground. Do not be ashamed of what you believe in. And let everything fall where it may. That is how it should be. Other than that, hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, again, I've been posting a lot to my personal channel over on D-Day Cobra. So if you have not subscribed over there, please feel free to do so. We have a lot in the works for Geeks and Gamers. An app is currently something we are negotiating with. If you're interested in working on an app for Geeks and Gamers, contact me, Jeremy, at geeksandgamers.com. I will forward that email over to people on my website team. You talk to them, and then eventually you'll get back to me if things are looking good. I'm very excited for the future of Geeks and Gamers. We also have Park Hop in our theme park channel. We have Sports Wars, our sports channel. We have our Twitch channel that's doing really well. We have a lot going on. I appreciate all the support. You guys have a great day. Never bend the knee to social justice weirdos. Never, ever, ever pander to them. The moment you pander, it's over. It's an endless rabbit hole of victimization. There's always someone more oppressed in their eyes. So no matter what you do, they will always find something else to be offended over. That is a fact, and that is why I will never, ever, 
ever give them any leeway whatsoever. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.